back to the Mad Spideyverse. I'm Mad Spidey and this is my channel. Today I got home after a hard day of work and there happened to be a parcel sitting there on the front doorstep. No signature, no nothing, especially when there was somebody home. Luckily it was still there. But uh, this video will basically be me unboxing it. Now I had absolutely no idea what was in this parcel. I uh, brought it in. Obviously I had dinner and things like that and just went, okay, I might as well do a, uh, an unboxing type video or unpackaging because it's more of a, as you can see, it's a flat pack parcel. Now I had no idea where it had come from. I knew I've got some eBay stuff that's supposed to be turning up within the next week and obviously I'll be doing some videos unboxing for those. But I had, yeah, this one I was very strange. I had no emails, no notifications to say parcel was coming, but here it is sitting there on the front doorstep. So obviously having a closer look at it, I noticed it's come from the US. Um, so I thought, well, maybe somebody sent me an a -OK, and I'm like, nobody's gonna send me an a -OK from the States because it's just too expensive to ship. Um, but that, that doesn't phase me because I'm not really you know, worried about that sort of stuff anyway. But I had a look at it and I realized it has come actually from an artist friend of mine over in the States. And I actually pretty sure this is from his Kickstarter, from his uh, creator owned title that he did basically everything himself. He wrote it, he drew it, the whole uh, kit and caboodle as they like to say. So let's get into it. Yeah, obviously. Now, in saying that, there's actually a, a little bit of a gap there, so I might not even need the knife. Just tear it open from the top. Hopefully everything's still in here. Okay, so what do we got? We have, we can get it out. Small parcel inside. Yeah, trying to get it out without damaging it. it looks like it's stuck to the bottom of the cardboard there. There we go. And we got a flat pack as well. So I'm pretty sure I know what this is now. As I said, it's from his creator owned. Oh, that's a bit bad because that's supposed to be. Okay, the art, I noticed there's some art in there that was supposed to be in between that, but it's not. So that's a bit of a worry. That's actually stuck to the bottom. So this is gonna have to be a bit of a uh, surgical procedure. Yeah, I'm gonna have to get the knife out now. Hopefully I can do this without destroying anything. from the art. Now we're separated. 
Okay, I'll have a look at the art last because I have no idea what it looks like. I know what character I chose. Because I did pick the tier that had the 11 by 17 um, commission. So I, then I just gave, gave the character to the artist. But we will have a look in the uh, small parcel first. Now, before I go any further, obviously the artist's name is Chris Campana. Hopefully I'm pronouncing that right, Chris. Uh, Chris and I have been friends for a couple of years now. I've already got some other original art from him. Um, we've, you know, chatted online and that quite a lot over the last couple of years. Now this particular Kickstarter was a very personal, uh, a very close uh, project for him because this is basically, without getting too in depth in the, um, I suppose you could say tragic history. Uh, if you know Chris or if you follow Chris, you know what has happened to him um, about a year, two years ago now. Um, still obviously very affecting him, but it shows tremendous courage um, for him to still be working. Like if it had been me, I would have been, yeah, I wouldn't be able to even function. But anyway, we'll get away from that and we'll get into the good stuff um, that Chris has done. Now, as I said, this is a very personal project for him, all creator owned. Now his creator owned book was called The Adventures of Parker Reef. Now the actual book itself, uh, the Kickstarter was for the second in the series. He actually did a Kickstarter for the first one a little while back, um, which is actually, if I remember rightly, which is that book there. Adventures of Parker Reef. I'm pretty sure that's volume one, because I missed out on the first Kickstarter, so I uh, he did he did have quite a bit of feedback for people that backed the second Kickstarter saying that if you still need the first book, you can just, you know, add a little bit extra or whatever like that and you can put in the first book as well. And I really wanted to, even though I haven't been reading a lot of comics in the last couple of years, that I've only turned more into a collector, I do actually want to read this because Chris is a great guy and, you know, and as I said, it's a very personal story for him. Now pretty sure pretty sure that's the first book what he's actually done is so there's three books in here I actually thought I was only getting two no. okay so that's the second book which is Parker Reef the way back home saying that, he's actually thrown in a, a third book. I don't know whether... Okay, so it's, it's basically almost like a just a pencil version of the colour book. I thought it might have been the colouring book, because he was thinking about doing a colouring book for obviously, you know, people who back it, give it to the kids and things like that, but as you can see, it's all just his awesome pencil work. Right. Yeah, this is um, without, yeah, as I said, giving too much away. It is dedicated to some very, very special people that were very dear to him. Um, but I will definitely, Chris, if you ever watch this, I don't know whether you ever will, mate, but I'll definitely be uh, be reading these and taking it all in, mate. And I'll even be reading the synopsis at the front as well. So, yeah, so that's from the, the Kickstarter. And as I said, there was a commission-based uh, level that I actually chose. The character I, I chose was Spider-Man Noir. Take it out of the sleeve, so it's a little bit less reflective. Yeah, that's pretty cool. So, and there it is. 11 by 17, full figure with just a 
little bit of uh, background there. Very, very cool piece. So yeah, so um, yeah, so that's it for this video. I'll um, I'll leave a link or a couple of links for Chris's um, socials down in the description below. Um, yeah, please check out his work. He's an awesome guy. He's been around the convention scene in the US for quite a lot. Um, unfortunately, I've never been able to go over and meet him in person, but yeah, absolute awesome guy, uh, great artist, and yeah, love to um, get more people on board onto his art as well. So for this uh, for this video, that's the end of that. Um, now, once again, if you haven't subscribed, please do so. Please also hit that. Uh, thumbs up button if you'd be so kind and uh yeah so spidey out